Hi, in this video we're going to uh, record a simple macro and then play it back. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our developer tab on our toolbar or the ribbon. And currently we do not. It would normally appear in here. So to turn that on, we are going to go ahead and go to File and Options. I have to click on More just because of my screen on the laptop. I'm going to click on Customize Ribbon, and then I'm selecting Developer. And click OK. Notice that the Developer tab now appears. So I'm going to click on that. So to record a macro, all we do is hit record. When you do that, uh, anything you do will go ahead and record and be added to the macro. So let's go ahead and say record. I'm going to call it type name. I could give it a shortcut key, if this is a, especially if this is a macro that I'm going to use long term. In another video, we will show you how to create buttons for the macro, especially those that are specific to a particular workbook. We can store the macro in this workbook or new workbook. If we use one of those options, this macro will be only be available if you uh, are in that workbook. Otherwise, you could use a personal macro workbook, and then it will be available no matter which workbook you are in in Excel on that machine. So we're going to just say this workbook for now because this is not a macro that I would like long term. So in this macro, we are going to go to Home, and I'm going to do this by hitting Control Home or the A1 cell. I'm going to type my name and press Enter. After that, I'm going to hit Stop Recording. To look at this macro, we're going to go to Visual Basic. And it looks like there's a macro in one that is loading up automatically on this ribbon. That's OK. So what I want to look for, I'm just closing that. I want to look for Book 1, just because that's the name of the spreadsheet as of now. And I'm going to look at Module 1. Double click on that. And here's the macro that you recorded. You can see it's named type, type name. You can see it goes to A1, types in the name, and select. Let's say I mistyped the name. It's as simple as just going into the macro and making that change. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm just going to save it into Documents. And I'm just going to say Test Macro and go ahead and save. Now, notice that error that I got. That's because we didn't do one step, and this is kind of critical, so we want to do an actual save as. Once again, we'll go to Documents. We want to make sure that you save it as a macro-enabled workbook. I won't admit to how many times I've forgotten to do that ahead of time, but it always warns me. So we just change it to a macro-enabled. And that way, it knows there's macros when it opens up the file. And now it is saved.